It seems to me that it would be perfectly possible to have picture books on GCSE and, and A-level uh, courses because there's no reason why people who are looking at fine art shouldn't also look at illustration because, after all, the illustrators looked at fine art and you can see it in the work of contemporary children's authors. One of the experiences I have as a reviewer is that if I make reference to the fine artists who are obviously an influence on uh, children's illustrators, it tends to get cut from the copy because they think it's pretentious. Um, but uh, Anthony's seen me do this before, but if you, you can find very close copies, obviously the connection between, say, Anthony's work and Magritte's is conspicuous. Uh, if you look at, say, David McKee's uh, Elmer books, the illustration, the, the jungle vegetation in that is straight from Le Douanier Rousseau. Uh, in, even down to the colour in some instances, but the same kind of stylized shapes. It's possible to find, I have in the past, um, a Michelangelo Pieta in a book by Alexis Deacon called While We Are Sleeping. The attitude of some toys holding a sleeping child is in fact the traditional attitude of a Pieta. Whether consciously or subconsciously, you often find that the children's illustrators are working out of a fine art tradition, and yet, in schools, you're not allowed to look at this work that's in fact on a continuum and I think that's a that's a great shame I mean even cartoons have their own honorable history right back from you know Daumier or whoever it is that influenced you but but as you said before I, I think we are slightly denigrated you know mm. the, the effort that the, the little things that go into the illustration uh, is mm. is not reviewed Sorry. No. No. In the same, <laughs> Give me the space. In, in, in the same way, yeah, yes. exactly. More mm. inches. Uh, in the same way that the text we poured over, the nuances of mm. the writing, mm. will be pulled apart and put back together again, and books are <coughs> lauded and damned, where the illustrations just go, yeah, they're nice illustrations. You need booksellers who understand the subtleties and the possibilities of picture books. You need teachers who understand it, but you also do need reviewers. And I think one yes. of the difficulties is that the language with which you write about illustration and the subtleties of illustration is a very difficult thing to do. If you've got, you know, 50 words to characterize the particularity of an image, I mean, that's why they say a picture is worth a thousand words, because you don't have the space to express what it is. In fact, one of the useful shorthands is to say that it resembles another artist that might be better known. Um, because then at least people have a picture in their heads, which yes. is a quick way of telling them something about what it looks like. But isn't this so, one of the reasons why it's so important that, you know, the next generation of um, young people are visually literate, so they have this language yeah. um, exactly. to use?